How's it going ladies and bruises? I'm Bobby Six Killer and welcome back to Beholder, where we lost in our last episode, but we sort of kicked off where we left off with a continue and things are going okay as long as you don't talk to this guy who is in dire, dire want of shooting our faces off. He really, really wants to make us dead and I'm not into being dead right now, so fuck that guy. <clears throat> fuck him straight in the bum hole. He is a sailor after all. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, moving on. In the Navy. Alright, can we get in here? Oops. I thought you went home. I'm sorry, okay? I have your glasses. Apologize and leave. I have your glasses. Your glasses? Do you, do you want your glasses? Hi. Have you found my glasses? I found them, here they are. Look under the kitchen table. You're a liar, my wife and I searched every nook and cranny. Your place is filthy though. I wonder if your wife had ever cleaned those nooks and crannies. I'll complain about the insanitary conditions in the house and I'll fire you. The glass is stained. People these days are nasty. Not like when I was young. I found your glasses for you, you ungrateful son of a dick. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Asshole. Oh, I'ma get you, you fuck. I hate you. Oh, I hate you so much. I hate you so much right now. Ass bag. Let me get the other apartments up and running. That'll give us something to do. It's not like we have enough people to spy on as it is. I don't know. Drunk and happy. It's too... Booze costs more than 300 to get. So I don't see the point in getting booze for her. Illegal to possess foreign music. Let's get another apartment up and running. No one wants to move into your building. Well, fuck you guys then. It's not very nice. Why not? I have a lovely building, except that guy thinks it's filthy and disgusting. But anyway, other than that guy who's a fucking douchebag... People love living in my building. They love having their shit going through. They love being spied on with cameras. You know? This is the big brother house, you know? <laughs> People love it. You love it, don't you? Tell me you love it! Here comes Klaus. Hey, Klaus! Hello! In conversation. Whoa, that was an in-depth conversation. Thanks for that. I feel so much better already. Now there's nobody home. Oh, uh, it's risky, man. They're talking, though. Quickly. I feel like I'm gonna get caught. I'm gonna get caught. Go! Yes. They're all home. I shouldn't be doing that while everybody's home. Do we have another camera? I think we have one more camera, don't we? Alright, I, th I say we bust this one now. Quickly, you little waddly penguin. Hurry up! And done. Go. Okay. I gotta catch one of you fucks doing something wrong. Do something wrong. Do something illegal! I don't want to be on this floor when he comes down, he might kill me. I don't want him to kill me, okay? Well, he's coming up, or is he going down? Are Rosa and them gone? I don't see them here. I'm just gonna check this. I think Rosa and them are gone. Alright, we're going to rifle through this house now. Super quick like. Did we do this side? Or? Yeah, we did this side, didn't we? Oh fuck, he's still here. At least he's downstairs. The further up you go, the more likely you are to get caught, because it's harder to keep an eye on the road.
I'm so nervous about getting caught. I feel like they should keep their incriminating evidence closer to that side of the room. So it's harder for us to find it. Let's go. Okay. We didn't find nothing there. I don't know. There's nothing happening at the moment. It's illegal to cry. Did I just run around making people cry? <laughs> Would that be a good way to get around this? You're fat and stupid. <laughs> You're under arrest. <laughs> it's what you get. It's what you get. Alright, let's profile some people for some extra pingers. Because I am pretty poor right now. Rosa Rainick. What apartment is she in? Three? Yeah. Apartment three. She's female. She lives with the other Rainick guy, Mark Rainick. She is a cook. And we have this stuff for her. And we think we got something for Mark as well. No, we don't have something for Mark. Who do we have something for? Not you. Not you. You, you smoke. Alright, whatever. I'm getting desperate right now, so I'll take anything I can get. He smokes! That's it, but, you know. I want money! <laughs> what does a blackmail letter do? Oh, okay. I can blackmail people for a thousand dollars for evidence. So it'd be really good if we get a couple of pieces of evidence on someone. <laughs> then we can blackmail them and send them away at the same time. <laughs> Man, that's assholey, Dude, I'm turning into a douche from playing this game. Even more than usual. This game makes you into an asshole. I kind of feel bad now. What are you doing, boss? Ah, uh, Aloysius is home. No, I don't know. Nobody's doing anything wrong. Please do something wrong, you fuckers. I really want to plant some evidence on that guy, but at the same time... At the same time, I don't... I don't want to have to pay for it. Evidence is expensive. That's annoying, stop it. <laughs> not happy about it. No, 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 no. I knew her now, Hannah. I knew her, Hannah. That language is even more annoying than Simish. Okie dokie. Yes, it looks like as long as I don't ask anyone about their quests, nothing happens. So I've got all the time in the world. That's pretty fantabulous. I'm pretty happy about that. Fuck. Okay, I have to talk to my wife. For bills, otherwise... Ah, uh, fuck! But that'll be the, the daughter thing as well. I don't know. I don't know. She can ask me for bills? Mm -hmm. What, Carl? What happened? Ah, oh, for fuck's sakes. Okay, Martha feels worse. Bloody blow, we need a doctor. I knew that was going to happen. I fucked up. I fucked up. What do now? We're gonna lose again, you know. The steady, steady wor working our way to losing. Do we have anyone to move in yet? No. What are we meant to do with this? Oh, call the ministry. Oh, I should have done that already to make money. All right, let's go. I know to put a time limit on us again, but now we've got Martha's thing, so we now get a rush. It's time to act, comrade Carl. You must evict Klaus Shimmer. What will happen to his wife? We don't care about her. Do what you think is best. Eviction methods? How can I evict Shimmer? Talk with Shimmer. We'll be fine with him moving out. It'd be better if you report him when he violates our directives. This is your duty, comrade Carl. I understand. Oh look, he's leaving! 
Fuck yes! No, he won't kill me! I'm happy about that! Alright. Well, we'll evict class the way we did last time. Catch him out doing something illegal, or his wife, and then we'll get rid of them. Because I don't want to get... ...fucking fined or whatever that happened last time. That was ass balls. We need more people in this apartment building. Jesus. This place is empty. We got two apartments ready to go and it's empty. Yeah, I'll find a doctor shortly. We need to evict class and we need to do it as cheaply as possible without getting caught for nothing. I don't know. I wish we had more people that could fill these apartment buildings. Like, holy crapola. Should we talk to Eleusius? About our daughter? We got 30 hours, we should probably kill time first. I really don't know what to do. This was so hard last time and we, in the end we just couldn't manage it. We couldn't help her. And it's looking like it's going to be the same case again. New government directive. It's legal to possess fish. Excellent. Alright. We can't really afford to evict the doctor now. Whiskey. Steal that. Because that's for the wife anyway, or the girlfriend, or whoever she is, you know. Um. We stole it from her and then we'll just give it straight back to her. Anything, 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 anything? Alright, that's a start. Go talk to Clara. Hand her her booze. You asked for alcohol? What did you bring? Whiskey. Okay. Last time I danced so hard I broke both heels and a couple of tables. Good times. Good times. That's good, we got paid for that. Alrighty. I feel like we're making a little bit of headway. My compliments. Dear fish. <laughs> you have an apple for 480 bucks. Sell this nonsense. Keep the chocolate, you never know when that'll come in handy. What's the cheapest evidence we can buy to pin something on someone? I think apple's gonna be it. We can get three grand back. Now we just gotta find a time to plant the apple in her house. Hello, Maria Shimmer. I hope this works the way I think it does, otherwise I'd have spent a fortune on an apple that's totally fucking useless to us. That actually incriminates us while we're holding it. Actually, I don't know how you would put stuff into an inventory thing. Okay, that's how it works. Alright. Let's get rid of him. Excellent work! And apples are definitely the cheapest way to do that. Alright, who did we catch? Was it her or... Him? Well, we'll do Klaus, because it's Klaus we want to get rid of. I don't really want to drag his wife into this. If I can avoid it, because... Oh no, he's a nice guy too. But, I don't know. I'm doing what I'm told, and I'm going to get paid for it, so... Uh, 1st of September... Apple. Send. Sorry, Klaus. You gotta go. I need money. I need to protect my family. <laughs> 
here they come. Here come the boys. Man, they're dangerous looking motherfuckers. They look angry too, like, so angry. Now he's crying, that's illegal too! <laughs> Alright, what's happening? You just found an apple. Oh, you're in trouble. You're not allowed apples, you know that. Don't talk to this guy. Hello. No. Public servant. Oh man, you're getting the beat down, I'm sorry. Do what I gotta do, my friend. I apologize. I needed to uh, make money for Martha's treatment, I'm sorry. That probably doesn't make you feel any better, but, you know, shit happens, I suppose. Off you go, on your bike. Have we still got, a uh, Maria Shimmer here? Or will she leave? Well, there she is. She doesn't seem bothered. She's like, eh, I knew you'd get caught for that apple hoarding one day, husband. <laughs> well, now you're on your own, aren't you? I told you keeping a stock of apples was a bad idea. But no. Okie dokie. That was interesting. I can't go to... Oh, here we go. Still haven't got anyone to move in. I'm glad we kept the wife. Um... We got turn in the order then. Then we'll make some money. If we can get 20 grand, we can fix Martha. I'm just holding out as long as possible. Ministry of Order, congratulations, your task was a success. For helping us catch a criminal, you're rewarded $3,000. Good job, comrade. Your next task is to place propaganda banners in your building. We need to increase patriotism among your tenants. There's unrest in the city. Stay alert, comrade Carl. Oh, I shall. Where are you guys going? What's your problem? Yes, father? Are you in trouble at the university, son? Ah, oh, fuck! Fundraiser, 15 grand. Ah, yep. Sorry I skipped through that, but we've all seen that before. What happened? I'm on the verge of perishing. Make her go away, she's disappointed me. Keeps singing all day long. She took my collection of rare wines to her friends and didn't even apologize. She danced and sang while I was dying of a terrible headache. And no sign of remorse. How can I help? Make her go away, please. I can't do it myself. And I wanted to go on a cruise. I even bought the tickets. Okay. Not a victor. Hello. I don't know what happened. They just arrived and arrested Carl. Ah, Klaus. They beat him before dragging him away. Luggage. We packed everything. Cheer up. Maria, I don't know what to say. Do you have another place to stay? I don't know. Klaus is my only close friend. How can I live without him? Time heals all wounds. I'm sure we'll be out in two years. Everything will be fine. I hope so. Anyway, I'll wait on the court and then make my decision. I won't stay in this apartment any longer. They beat him. I saw it with my own eyes. I understand. You better leave. Alright, what's next? Jesus, everybody's just piled around here. Fuck off, everyone. I need I need room to work. Oh, crap. It's the, it's the bomb thing again. Yep. What, Carl? How may I help? What do you want, Anna? I need $500 for groceries. Give. Here. Thanks, Carl. I'll run to the market. It's very loud out here. Lots of screaming. Lots and lots of screaming. I think I just got run over. Is Aloysius still here or is he gone? I feel like he's gone. There he is. Alright, we need to talk to him about Martha before we run out of time. Aloysius. About Martha's illness. Aloysius, my daughter is sick. Can you examine her? Of course I'll examine her. It's my duty. I'm a doctor. Excellent. Alright, now we've got to start repairing things. This is going to cost us money, but whatever. And we need to put up the propaganda posters. My god, there's so much to be done. 
she's not here. She's up on the balcony, you twat. Don't you know? You're a doctor. Can't you tell the difference between a small child and a bed? There's unrest in the city. It's too dangerous to go outside. Stay calm and repair anything in your house that's broken. You have two days. I feel like I should set up the propaganda first. Uh, maybe I should repair stuff down here first. Um, what? How much repair do I have? Seven bits of furniture. All right, let's get started. Repair. Oh shit! My desk is first. I didn't even notice that was broken. Uh, repair. Okay. Aloysius is done looking at it by the look of it. If I don't talk to him, will that stave that off for a while? I don't really know. I'm hoping so. Gotta get these repairs on. Get repairs on. And then we'll go put up a propaganda poster. Here. This is not too much to repair, we've only got two active apartments right now. So that helps. And that apartment didn't take any damage. Uh, knock knock. Is anybody home? I don't think there is. Well that's a pain in the ass. Straight pain in the ass. How many propaganda posters do we have? Is that it? That's it. Alrighty. Can we hire, get some new people in now? Because the apartments are getting empty. Dora Noel. Needs to find an apartment ASAP. Done. I'll take anyone right now. We got no one else. But that's a start. If we don't talk to Aloysius, we might be alright. Um. Now what? <laughs> Good question. Alright, well, nobody's here. Let's have we break in, see if we can find some dirt on that lady, Clara. If we can get her out, Aloysius will be happy, and I'll be happy because I'll get paid. Everybody wins, mainly me. Well, I guess Aloysius wins too, so whatever. Wine. Man, I hope I don't get caught. There's so much to get through. Come on. Faster. Anything, 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 nothing. Quickly. Nothing, nothing, nothing. This one. And then we gotta get the fuck out of here. I don't know where they are or how far they're gonna be. But we gotta go. Actually. I should have set up a camera while we were in there. Let's do that nice and quick. And then we'll go meet the new tenant down here. I haven't met her yet. Knock knock! Anybody home? I'd like to meet the new person here. How are you doing today? What do you want? Meat? Oh, I'm the- I'm Carl, the landlord. Dora Noel, nice to meet you. Let me know if you need anything. Of course. Uh, previous address? Where'd you come from? Who cares where I came from? All that matters is I'm here now. I like it here. It's less crowded than the capital and everyone has a job. Do you like it here? Not really. What a shame. Thought it would have been better with all, this, all of the smog in the sky. Without all the smog in the sky. Previous address? Oh yeah, I did that. That's what I just did, in fact. Man, I'm dumb. News? Alas, I have nothing to tell you. I don't know anybody here. I got a cold on my first day here. Need to repair your furniture. Come in. Can I go through a shit while doing that? I don't know. <laughs> Whoops. Guess you can't do that. What are you doing here? Furniture repair. I'm here on business. Come in. Interesting. Is that a bug or what? <laughs> I feel like I should have got 
in more trouble for that. She's like, oh, oh, furniture repair. Well, that's all right then. Don't even mind you going through all my shit then. Oh, there's Mark Rainick. I need to repair your shit. Like, kind of quickly too. I'm kind of in a hurry. Kind of in a hurry. Kind of get to get this done, you. I need to talk to you. Evict, you need to leave this house at once. Why should I? I like it here. I'm not going to follow the instructions of some petty tyrant like you. Ugh. Clara, you must move out. Alois isn't ready to spend the rest of his life with you. He was too shy to tell you. He can't do anything on his own, can he? I'm so comfortable here, and I have nowhere to go. I'm all alone in this city, and I gave my best years to that croaker. Years? You've been here for a few days. Those are the best days of my life. He owes me for that. I'll leave, but that pansy will pay. Find out where Aloysius keeps his mother's brooch. He showed me the pictures, and he said he's keeping them as a souvenir. They should be mine. Okay. And then... Then you'll go away? Hey, Rosa. I need to come into your house. I got repairs to be done, son. Get in the house! Get in the fucking house. Good afternoon. Furniture repairs. Come in. Thank you. I shall. I shall come in indeed. Okay, we're going to be missing one something or other for repairs. I don't know which one. Repair? Repair? Okay, we need one of those. Repair. I suppose we should hold back on turning the quest in. The lady isn't even in here. Can we rob her shit? I so badly want to rob people's shit. I'm sorry. I'll set up a camera in here while we wait. <laughs> I mean, why not? Do we have a new directive? What do we got? Guns. Okay, guns are illegal. That's cool. We got full fiddle. You're in. I'll take anyone I can get. We get 750 thingy me jigs if we can get 15 grand to get him out of prison. Or get him out, save his school career. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. We need to find a stash. Where the fuck is his stash? Oh crap, he's home. Didn't think I saw him, he's in bed again. Uh, furniture repair? Furniture repair? I'm just here for furniture repair. Sorry, furniture repair. Furniture repair? <laughs> just repairing furniture. You know, that's how it is. Let's meet this new guy. Hey, new guy. New guy. I hate you, new guy. Hello, I'm Carl the Landlord. Full fledled brookage. I study at the university. Meet. I'm Carl the Landlord. Ah, oh, we did that. Ask about the name. My father picked this silly name. My mum calls me Fall. I don't like that either. Yeah, I'm already aware of what that means. We don't need to do that anymore. That's your speciality. Chemistry. It's a nice university and such. We chop up different frogs and mix some shit and flasks until it bubbles and smokes. I see you don't find what you're studying to be inspiring. I just don't understand how chopped up frogs can help you become a person who can make the world a better place. Fair enough. Whatever floats your boat, Sunny Jim. Okay. Okay, I think we're in a, in a reasonably good spot now. We got rid of the guy who wants to murder us. We got our apartments all filled up again. We, we got some minimal dirt on Clara. Dirt that isn't really dirt. Uh, we need to get into Aloysius' house and steal his money, his stuff. Which, uh, he should just let me do so that I can... Um... Get rid of her. He wants her gone, right? <laughs> if he wants us, go if he wants her gone, then he should let me do whatever it takes to get rid of her. We're gonna get paid for that though, because I like getting paid. And then we got Aloysius in apartment four. He's male. He lives with Clara. He is a doctor, and we have a couple more things for him. That's pretty great. We got some new people that we need to learn information about. And sort of watch them while they sleep. <laughs> and other creepy things. 
New government directives come in. It's illegal to store light bulbs, and we'll read this before um, we call it an episode. Just want to see what this is. If it's something new, who knows? We got eight grand. We're well on our way. I don't think we can save our son, but. Several hours ago, a series of explosions took place at the convenience goods storage facility on Krishvai Street. No one was killed, but 15 people were injured. The situation is under control, so there's no reason to panic. Now for the weather. Tomorrow, look for winds in the north, a high of 60 degrees and light showers. Comrades, we have spoken and spoken loud. The whole city heard. The explosions took place at the plant where state officials were planning to introduce 14-hour shifts. The government won't listen to our peaceful voices, so let them let it hear our cries of war. We will force them to respect the rights of workers. If they continue with their plans, we'll turn the ministry to rubble. We have another one. Leo Guvzdek, the winner of the annual Labour Lottery. Yeah, I remember that. That was near the end of last time. Now yeah, we can get him an apartment, eh? But the phone rings first, I think. Ah, oh, fuck. Hello, Carl. Who are you, new tenant? I know everyone who lives in the building, but this is the first time I've seen you. We don't know each other, but I hope we become friends. My name is George Danton. How can I help you? I made inquiries, Carl. I think you're a decent man who can be trusted. After that, I want you to do me a simple but important favour. What should I do? A young man, full fetal brukage, lives in your building. Can you give him this box? Why don't you do it yourself? I have my reasons. You'll know them after you do me the favour. There's only one condition. Do not open the box. Are you trying to get me mixed up in something illegal? Aren't you afraid I'll report this to the quarter? Fear divides people. I assure you we have opposing goals. The only thing you need to know is that I'll pay a good price for this case. Very well, do you agree? Yeah, okay. Well, the money's won't hurt. Give me the box. Thanks, Carl. We'll pay our, we pay our debts. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. I don't really want to hand that over. But he will pay. Jeez, I gotta end this episode. Hang on, we'll just do this. Is he here? He's not here. That's Popo noise. What are the Popos here for? Fuck, I let Martha die. How did that happen? Just because I didn't talk to the... Oh, fuck it. Martha has died. Yes, okay. There's no saving anyone, is there, in this game? It's a living nightmare. It is a living nightmare. Oh, God. Oh, that was close. If I can catch him on something, then I can put him away before giving him the box. Alright, 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 I'm gonna end this episode here. That was a pretty unfortunate way to end the episode. Martha's dead. That sucks. Fuck it. I thought if I didn't talk to anyone, it wouldn't become a thing, but I guess it became a thing anyway. So, if we can get 15 grand, we can save our son. That's not gonna happen, but, you know. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I'll see you in the next episode.